ET's Cassie DeLora spoke to the singer at the grand opening of Old Red Las Vegas on Wednesday, and Shelton 47 revealed why he likely won't come back to the competition series, which he starred on for 23 seasons over 12 years. I'd miss the people. I mean, those people became like family to me, literally from the crew all up to the producers of the show. I was with them more than I was with my family. I miss that. Shelton said, before noting that he doesn't miss the job at all. I totally needed a break from that, because if I wasn't into it, then it wasn't good for whoever was on my team. I don't want to be someone who's just going through the motions. Those artists need somebody fighting for them, Shelton, who had nine wins over his tenure, said. The second I started feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't even remember what season this is anymore. Who are the coaches on this season? I knew that. I needed to get away from here. Since he departed the series last year, Shelton said that every day feels a little bit better, adding, I feel better about that decision. Only one thing would bring him back, though, if NBC managed to wrangle a return from the other three original coaches, Adam Levine, Christina Aguilera, and CeeLo Green. If they were ever able to put together the original four coaches again, maybe I'd return for one season, a one-off, he said. That would be fun for me. That would be something I would be interested in doing. Though he might not step into the coach's chair again, Shelton is grateful for his time on the show, largely because it's where he met his wife, Gwen Stefani, who came on board in season seven. The first season she was on The Voice we met, but we really didn't talk that much, he recalled. If you'd have told me the first season that we met that what was gun happen, I would have been like, no. We actually don't even have anything to even talk about. What are you talking about? It's crazy how things work out. Since then, the couple has built a life together personally and professionally, much to Shelton's delight. When you find that life partner, that missing piece you didn't know what was missing. It's like, golly, you can go ahead and kill me if this ever goes away or ends or something happens. There's no going back now, he said. Anytime I play anymore, People have in the back of their mind, I wonder if she's here. If she is here, is she gonna sing? I know they're thinking about it, he said. Last night, I barely even mentioned we have a special guest, and of course, people knew. This place is a big deal for Gwen, too. She had family here last night for the grand opening that she hadn't seen in a little while, so it's all in the family. You don't expect there to be this country music honky-tonk right here on the Strip. But it's here and it feels like it's here to stay, he said. It really does feel like you've stepped in through a portal and you're in Nashville when you come through the doors, which is so perfect for Las Vegas because country music has always had a place here. I think it's going to be great for the country music industry to have this home base here in Vegas. In the realm of reality television, few figures command the spotlight quite like Blake Shelton. As a coach on The Voice, his charismatic presence and undeniable talent have endeared him to millions of viewers around the world. However, as rumors swirl about his possible return to the iconic singing competition, Shelton finds himself at a crossroads, contemplating his next move both professionally and personally. In an exclusive interview, he opens up about the prospect of rejoining The Voice and his latest venture a vibrant new bar that promises to be a haven for music lovers and country enthusiasts alike. For years, Blake Shelton has been synonymous with The Voice, serving as a coach on the show since its inception and guiding countless aspiring artists on their journey to stardom. However, as seasons come and go, Shelton has found himself pondering the possibility of returning to the show that catapulted him into the spotlight. In our exclusive interview, Shelton reflects on his time on The Voice with a mixture of nostalgia and anticipation. Being a coach on The Voice has been one of the greatest experiences of my career, he says, his voice tinged with warmth. It's not just about the competition. It's about the relationships you build with the contestants and the chance to share your passion for music with the world. When asked about the possibility of returning to the show, Shelton remains coy, but hints at a potential comeback. I never say never. He muses with a grin. I love the voice and the opportunity it gives me to discover new talent and help them reach their full potential. If the timing is right and the stars align, who knows what the future holds? While Shelton contemplates his future on.
The Voice. He has been keeping busy with another passion project, his new bar, a vibrant establishment nestled in the heart of Nashville. Dubbed Shelton Saloon, the bar promises to be a haven for music lovers and country enthusiasts alike, offering a unique blend of live entertainment, mouth-watering cuisine, and southern hospitality. As Shelton gives us a tour of the bar, his eyes light up with excitement. I've always wanted to create a space where people can come together and celebrate their love of music, he explains. Shelton's saloon is more than just a bar. It's a place where memories are made, friendships are forged, and the spirit of Nashville comes alive. From the moment you step inside Shelton's saloon, it's clear that music is at the heart of everything. The walls are adorned with vintage concert posters and memorabilia, paying homage to the rich history of country music. The stage, bathed in warm light, beckons to aspiring artists and seasoned performers alike, offering a platform to showcase their talents and connect with audiences in an intimate setting. But Shelton's Saloon is more than just a music venue. It's a culinary destination in its own right. The menu boasts an array of Southern-inspired dishes, from hearty barbecue platters to mouth-watering comfort food classics. And no visit to the saloon would be complete without sampling one of their signature cocktails, expertly crafted by the talented bartenders behind the bar. As Shelton reflects on the journey that led him to Shelton's saloon, he is filled with gratitude for the opportunity to share his love of music with others. Opening this bar has been a dream come true for me, he says, his voice tinged with emotion. I hope it becomes a place where people can come together, forget their troubles, and just enjoy the magic of live music. Our interview comes to a close. Blake Shelton looks to the future with a sense of optimism and excitement. Whether he returns to The Voice or continues to pour his heart and soul into Shelton's saloon, one thing is clear. His passion for music and his dedication to his craft will continue to inspire and uplift audiences for years to come. I'm just grateful for the opportunities I've been given and the chance to do what I love every day," he says with a smile. Whether I'm coaching on The Voice or pouring drinks at Shelton's Saloon, I'll always be singing the same tune. Music is the universal language that brings us all together. And with that, he bids us farewell, leaving us with a melody in our hearts and a renewed appreciation for the power of song.